Hello everyone, I'm Sohra from Agrimestov and today I want to show you how you can use DMAP version 2.0 to calculate PDSI by, for um, big amount of stations. Firstly, I should load the list of stations. This is the list of stations that I select. Firstly, I should select the name of station, latitude, longitude, and two items needed for PDSI is uh, surface soil and available water capacity. Now I should click on load and the list of station loaded here. This is failed capacity and uh, you need this item just for KBDI and you don't need it for uh, PDSI. Uh, I should to load the time series rainfall data. I should select the sheet now. Here. And it takes a bit time to load. Uh, the list of stations here is so is uh, exactly same of the list of stations here so i can use auto fill call head uh, call head column header this is not re re supported by tool this date format just this date is recommended loading is complete and another variable another time series for PDSI is average temperature. I should uh, select the average temperature from the Excel file. The data is in daily format. Auto column head and this is not supported, this format. You should use another formats. Uh, this uh, message says the roof this number of roofs and these stations and uh, you don't have data or you have wrong data you can uh, fill it by mean or you can correct it in excel file after that load it in to the tool and now i can calculate the road indices here but uh, please note that you have two options to input data. First option is input Excel file, another is input CSV file. You can use any of these two items or compose of these two items. For example, rainfall by Excel and um, temperature by NetCDF. Uh, but now I am using the uh, input Excel file for both variables. The PDS I will calculate on monthly scale. This is the basis of the PDS I. And send data here and I can plot it. This is for all stations, but uh, you can select several stations. This plot is just for viewing uh, the output, but you can export the data in Excel and draw the Excel in Excel. Uh, you can add average of all stations and, and the tool will calculate average of uh, latitude and longitude and available water capacity and surface soil, and name of the stations. After that, you should generate again. And now you can select the average of all the stations to plot. This is average of region. Also, you can uh, draw severity for any station or average. Uh, you should select the border of drought based on the research. You should make a research about found the best border of drought. This is the less than value. It means the drought conditions, but more than value is the wet condition. Okay. 
This is the magnitude of each derot event. You can find each derot event here and the magnitude of each derot or severity of the derot. Uh, the value is in the chart and in table. You can export all of them in Excel and use it. You can select another uh, frequency, but uh, please note that uh, the PDSI will calculate on monthly and after that. Uh, the result will convert to yearly or seasonally. The basis of calculation is in monthly. This is so important things that you should consider it. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel to get more video about the tools. Bye.